Hey guys, um, so a really quick intro. I don't want to ramble on because I'm having a tendency of doing that lately. But anyway, I wanted to share my winter fall wash and go routine and I'm going to be showing one of my favorite oils to use during the fall and winter pumpkin seed oil on my hair and pumpkin has such a great benefit for thinning hair fine hair and I'll go into more detail while I'm showing you how I do my winter wash and go it's basically the same um, routine that I do my spring summer wash and go um, but I'm going to show you the products I'm using and the wash and go is my go-to hairstyle um, it's either that or a bun so um, yep I wanted to show you guys this style if you guys are interested keep watching and like I always say be you stay true and be naturally seen Bye. pumpkin seed oil is one of my favorite oils to use on my hair and my scalp. Um, some quick reasons why I like pumpkin seed oil. One, it has no real odor. Um, it's a very fairly thin oil and not very thick. It's cheap. I could get mine on Amazon. It costs about $13.99. But let's get into the science of this particular oil. It helps strengthen the hair shaft while promoting the natural balance of sebum for shiny and vibrant hair due to the vitamin A in it. It also contains biotin, which we all know about, which is the essential B vitamin known as B7. This helps with hair growth. How does it help with growth? Well, because biotin is essential for the body's production of structural sound keratin, which is a protein that makes up our hair strands. So that's the thing. <laughs> it also has omega-3, 6, and 9, and these are all naturally found in pumpkin seed oil, and it provides the anti-inflammatory properties. Um, even without a major scalp irritation, it keeps your scalp clean and makes it less like a petri dish and opens up our hair follicles to promote hair growth. Um, but if you do have scalp issues, pumpkin seed oil is awesome. It contains a high level of sulfur without the rotten egg smell. And sulfur is a major component of keratin as well. Sulfur is known to help with the conditions such as psoriasis, eczema, and dandruff, just to name a few. Now, why is pumpkin seed oil good for people with thin hair? Well, there was a study done by the U.S. National Library of Medicine that pumpkin seed oil blocks the action of 5-alpha reductase. This enzyme is the main reason for a certain type of alopecia. I don't, I'm not saying that I have this condition, but on my father's side, it runs in my family to have thinning hair, so it's just affecting my genetics. Um, some other components within the oil is that it contains... I'm going to mess up this word, a file citral betel, I'm just going to put it in this area, I can't spell, I can't say it. This reduces the damage done by DHT, which is a derivative of a hormone terrestrone, which is basically a death sentence to our hair follicles. And this inhibits the conversion of that enzyme. Um, think of it as a natural row grain. DHT basically acts like a death reaper to the hair follicles, preventing hair from growing in that area. 
It also contains zinc, iron, and magnesium, which are two essential materials or minerals for your hair. These mi minerals thicken your hair and speeds up growth. How does it do that? Well, magnesium helps to unblock hair follicles and nourishes the scalp. It helps prevent calcium buildup on the scalp, which can result in inflamed, dry, and itchy scalp. By preventing the buildup, it promotes blood circulation, making sure that calcium is circulated to your bones where it's needed instead of manifesting itself on the scalp. It helps with protein synthesis since our hair strands are a protein base. Better protein synthesis means healthy hair and a more predictable hair cycle of growth and resting periods. Um, yeah, I will make sure I'll put in my, um, in my um, description box, I did a science video about the growth cycle of hair. So definitely check that out. Iron is important because it's the magic ingredient in your blood that carries oxygen to the root and hair follicles, which fosters a healthy hair follicle growth and promotes growth. Zinc is helpful because it's healthy for the hair shaft by being involved by numerous cellular reproductive activities, including normal immune function, cell division, tissue growth, wound healing, protein, and DNA synthesis. Hair growth depends on the, the health of normal cellular reproduction and protein billing. Do I have any cons with polka seed oil? Uh, not that many. Just don't use too much of a good thing. And if you decide to ingest pumpkin for the benefits instead of using it topically, always talk to your doctor because it may have some uh, side effects that may um, interact with other medications. So just use them for your own. I mean, be smart. If you take meds and you're going to eat pumpkin, just just, just ask your doctor if it's safe and then make sure it doesn't interact with the medication that you're already taking. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Man, this video is so freaking late. I'm so sorry. I had to basically, with no, my husband no cards, memorize this.
guys enjoyed the video so far before I wrap this up I kind of want to close with why I'm this is my last video for 2018 uh, usually I always take a hiatus um, I do it every year I've been on YouTube for five years since 2013 so this is nothing new um, I usually just do it just to rest recharge get my creative juices flowing kind of like prepare for the new year and figure out how I'm going to take my channel, make any changes, like I'll change my channel banner or whatever. Just try to do some updates. Um, I am doing it again this year. I'm kind of doing it a month early because usually I do Vlogmas. So definitely check out my Vlogmas videos from last year and previous years. Um, but this year, there's a lot of things going on that a lot of changes that I feel like I just need to get all those things situated and then be able to focus on YouTube and, sorry, my dog's drinking water in the background, concentrate on YouTube and all that good stuff. So I'm taking December and January off, but I'll be back um, February with awesome new um, video ideas for you guys and everything like that. Um, the major changes I'm going through right now um, is that unfortunately, um, my department's being closed December 31st. Um, we found out in September and uh, we were given the opportunity to work. But the doors of our office will be closing December 31st. Um, it's happening to a lot of people nowadays. So um, had the opportunity to either go back to, uh, you know, other positions or accept a severance. And I decided that this was the universe telling me to move forward, so I accepted the severance. And <laughs> I get to do all that fun stuff of unemployment, figuring out health benefits, all that jazz. I'm sure you guys understand um, with all those different changes. And since I'm not gonna be here for New Year's to show you guys what I'm wearing, this is one of the outfit ideas. I'm not sure if this is gonna be the one or not, but this is definitely one of the outfit ideas my husband and I are gonna be wearing. Um, he, He's wearing burgundy and navy, and I'm wearing like this cream and navy to compliment him. So I don't want to be too matchy-matchy. So this is one of the ideas, possibly. Um, <laughs> but I wanted to dress up for my last video to celebrate this year on YouTube. Um, you guys have been freaking amazing. I, everyone that watches my video, no matter if it's just for a second, a minute, the whole entire thing, people that engage and reply in the com in the comments below. It means a lot to me because it's support and I don't do this for, I just do it because I wanna have a voice and I just wanna put myself out there and just make connections and hear other people's story and make friends. So I see you guys all as friends and I really thank you for that. I've learned a lot, <laughs> learned a lot. I've been consistent. And even though I will be on a hiatus for two, five years, and I'll put in the description box down below um, the video of my very first video that I posted November 2013. Five years I started this. I put my my mug on the on the camera talking to myself like a crazy person I feel like sometimes. <laughs> crazy person sometimes. But... Um, I have 456 videos that I've created and put on um, my channel. So please definitely check those videos out. You'll see the progression where, from where I started to where I am now. Um, another reason during this hiatus, I am gonna seriously invest in myself in my channel, um, getting new equipment. And not just invest in myself, but the channel, I'm investing in you guys too. I wanna give you guys um, better editing, um, better production if I possibly can. I mean, I don't do my editing by, by myself. My husband helps me, so it's a learning process for us. We do the best we can. But I'm gonna be upgrading my camera, um, tripods, I'm, buy, I'm getting a new desktop and a laptop and lighting. So I'm really investing in my channel and, and you guys. So 2019 is gonna be hopefully a whole new look. I will have my um, channel banner updated as well. And I'm also updating my um, editing software. When I first started on YouTube, my very first video, it was actually on a laptop camera, a webcam. 
and I progressed from that to recording and editing and uploading from my, um, my phone. And then from that, I stepped up to actually um, getting an um, Apple laptop and um, editing on iMovie and exporting and importing and adding music and all that stuff. And now I'm going to step it up even um, an uh, extra notch. For me, I'm going to be purchasing, purchasing um, with my new Apple desktop, Final Cut Pro. For my hubby so we're gonna take time to learn all these new components and I'm excited guys I have so many video ideas for instance um, during my not calling it unemployment so yeah I'm going to Colorado for a ski trip and it's an event run by an organization called ski for light and basically it's trained sighted guide instructors that um, can assist people that are blind, visually impaired, and mobily impaired to do cross-country skiing. <laughs> and um, they have different special interests like discussions throughout this week period of just like learning how to get over adversity and building confidence and just meeting people that are like-minded and like you. So yeah, I'm starting 2019 with the bang. I'm not gonna sit in the house and wallow. Um, I had, since September, when I learned that um, I no longer will be employed with my job to do all that. So I just want to start the new year with like gusto and I just wanted to set the pace for the rest of the year. Um, I'm also, I went to a no summits barrier earlier this year in the summer and I'm taking that mission with me not let anything stand in my way. So I definitely want to figure out in my life and my future how I can exhibit that and um, I, I'll also link in the description box below all the no barrier series series videos that I did if I can talk oh my god I'm so nervous I don't think anybody likes to share that you know they're losing their job um, and I was a project manager um, so that's okay it's okay. I'm thinking about becoming a entrepreneur, starting things up myself and working for myself. Um, sometimes you get complacent and you, I found myself not having the courage to do that. I've always said I want to work for myself, have a couple ideas. Now that I have the time to do so, I have no, why not try? What can happen? I'll fire myself, I guess. Another thing that I'm really looking forward to at the beginning of this year, two years ago, my husband and I bought a house for cash. It's a fixer-upper in the, on the name, same neighborhood that we're renting this house from. And I have some savings. Well, most of my savings for the past six years were putting into the phase one renovation of the house finally. We're finally going back to our fixer-upper. And um, I will link that little video down below of when we first got her. I did a really quick tour. She's this really small house, 800 and something square feet. So we're pretty excited. Um, the reason we moved out of her was to help a family member to get them back on their feet. Um, didn't charge them rent or anything so that way they could save money for two years. And then that way they can move on. And the two years is up, it couldn't have been any better timing. <laughs> and now we can move back to her, no mortgage, just our, obviously our property taxes. But the first phase, we're putting a fence in the front yard, um, resodding, um, replacing all the doors inside and externally, replacing all the windows upstairs and the windows in the front room, um, gutting the whole entire upstairs to the studs and putting new sheetrock, or drywall, whatever you want to call it, gutting the bathroom. Um, yeah, redoing the whole entire bathroom, recarpeting the whole entire upstairs and down this and down the stairs. And the downstairs is not too bad, so that's gonna be phase two. And we probably have to get a, a home equity loan to finish the rest of the renovations. We're also gonna replace all the plumbing now too in phase one. So, I mean, I'll just be a project manager looking over the, over the renovations of the house. That, that's gonna take a couple of months, I think. Um, so we're just trying to figure out our contractor and all that scary stuff. So I also have that to look forward to. And all the video ideas I have for you guys, like I'm 
thinking about doing, you know, how they had those really popular videos, Draw My Life. Again, this is not my idea. I, one of the YouTubers I absolutely adore, her name is Star Puppy. I'll link her video down below. Please check her out and give her love. But she did Draw My Hair Journey, which I absolutely enjoyed. So I wanna do something like that. So it's still gonna be a lot of natural hair videos, um, still a lot of videos about dealing with visual impairment and blindness and my struggles and how I overcome those challenges and a couple of vlogs thrown in in between now and then so I'm not gonna be gone forever guys so definitely follow me on my other social media I'll still be active there and I'm starting to really love insta stories just finally got yeah, I don't know why I wasn't doing that before, but I really like that. <laughs> so guys, for the last time until 2019, be you, stay true, be naturally seen, have an awesome New Year's, a beautiful and blissful Christmas, and please be safe. And I'll see you guys next year. Peace out. Happy Monday guys. Um, yeah, so worked from home today. Had a couple of things to do. I still have a lot to do that I, I want to try to get done by tomorrow. But I just want to come on here and just um, reflect. And I have 15 working days left at my current job before the doors close at my department for good. And um, I knew about it since September and I just now finally come to grips with it. It's been hard. But I'm finally okay. Um, it's not easy working knowing that you no longer will be working in the new year and hearing all the cool things that will be coming up and all that stuff. But that's okay. I'm in a good hit space now. Um, I wasn't for since September since I found out. But you know what? I God has a plan for me. The universe has a plan for me. Things have just been falling into place of opportunities that I didn't even imagine. And... And they, my company made their decision, and I'm going to make my decision to be happy and finally get the courage to be an entrepreneur and do a startup. Um, if I wasn't forced to recognize that in myself, then I will be complacent and trying to provide these ideas and stuff for whoever I was working for. So I'm excited to work for myself for the first time. I've been working since I've been 13 years old, like babysitting, things like that. So... So yeah, that's what I plan on doing. I'm, I'm planning on starting a, my own business. Um, stay tuned <laughs> to 2019. I'll definitely share my journey with you guys on my YouTube channel, but I'm pretty excited. I have a lot of ideas and I'm scared, but you know, I'm gonna push through the fear and I'm just gonna do it. Um, so yeah, um, I'm ready. I'm gonna be my own boss and let's see what will happen with this journey. Thank you.